Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to show you guys how you can start using content validation on your Qualtrics forms. Now, the way that content validation works is that when you basically need a respondent or customer to answer the questions on your form in a specific way, especially if it's based on like a content type specifically, you can then kind of force or at least require that they answer the question in such a format that would then basically satisfy certain characteristics that would typically refer to, let's say, an email address, phone number, and things along those lines. So first, let's just open one of our forms so we can give you a better idea of how this works. Now, in this case, what I'm hoping to do is to basically create a question that would first require a phone number, meaning that I don't want any phonetical, alphabetical, characters in it i just want numbers and i want the specific number of numbers obviously so that's my goal i have two characteristics i'm planning to apply so let's just get into this so first things first i'm going to add a new question in this case text entry since i wanted to add in a phone number and then from here i'm just going to change this to question three question two just for consistency Okay, and then I'm going to change everything else as well. Four, five, and six. Okay, so I've added questions, and I want to add the content validation to this question three. So, as you might remember, each question is separated into specific blocks, and if I were to simply select one of the subsections that refers to a specific question, the Edit Question Manager will appear on the left. Now you're going to want to head over to this response requirements tab and if you were to open it, it would obviously look like this which says add requirements and add validation below. What we're interested in is toggling the add validation option so let's just do that really quick. And from here you will now have the option of requiring let's say a minimum length, a character range, content type, or custom built which then refers to a specific answer. So in this case if I were to select minimum length I would only allow answers with five or more char five or more characters, eight or more characters, however high I might go. Now, for the purpose of our video, we're more interested in content type. So the way that content type works is that Qualtrics already has it kind of set up for you so that you don't actually have to set up the specific features of, let's say, a phone number question or answer that the form would recognize. In other words, Qualtrics already automatically does this for you. Qualtrics can actually recognize email addresses, phone numbers, US states, postal codes, date, number, and text only. So if I were to hit, let's say, email address, Qualtrics would then be able to tell if your email address is valid or not. But since we're doing phone numbers, if I were to just simply toggle this button, I can look for the phone number option. And I can even choose the country or state, depending. Though note that they do are or they are quite limited on what countries they provide this content validation for. So let's just pick US in this case. And once you're happy with that, let's just hit preview so we can see what this looks like. Okay. Oh, looks like we forgot to put the page break down. Let me just move that again. Okay, we're gonna preview that one more time. Okay, so here we are. We're going to add a name. We're going to say Jason Chase. We're going to add an email. Jason Chase at email.email.com. And then we're going to add a phone number. So this kind of has to be a valid one that Qualtrics would recognize. So let's just throw in a fake US number. Okay, so I'm assuming that the plus one would be immediately added. Okay, so let's try 202-555, or maybe no spaces, 555-0188. Now, this is just a fake number I found online. Let's see if this validates. Okay, so that passes the content validation in this case, but let's see what it would look like if, there, if we didn't add a proper number. Okay, so let's put a name again. Person Green, okay, green at hotmail.mail.net or .com. And then phone number, we're going to go with 90. So let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, 
it automatically asks and will ask to, for you to enter a valid US phone number. So that's just how content validation works. Basically, just to recap, Qualtrics will ask for a specific answer that would fit the features of a specific type of content question. So if the question asks for a specific type of answer, let's say phone numbers, the generic format of phone numbers would then be validated by Qualtrics automatically. They also do emails and others as we saw in the drop down list over here. They do all of these date formats, numbers, text only, US date, all of the lot. You can't add, let's say, alphanumeric numbers in this case because we are using the phone number one, so we can't use any sort of like letter. It'll still ask us for the same thing. And that's how content validation works. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.